Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you a cool feature in Maya called the Select By Using Constraints, or Select Using Constraints. It's very useful for several different reasons. One reason I use it is to quickly check my geometry to see if everything's in quads or not. So I have three objects here on my screen. I have a cylinder, a cube, and a sphere. I'm going to select all three of those. I'm going to press the number four on my keyboard to switch to wireframe. I'm going to press F11 to switch to face select mode. I'm going to go up to my select menu now, and I'm going to go all the way down to select using constraints. When I click that, it's going to open up this dialog box. At the very top of the dialog box, I'm going to click on all and next. What that's going to do is it's going to select, or basically look, at every face on my what I have selected. All right, the next section down here in the dialog box, uh, on the far left, you'll see a location row, an order row, planarity row, and so forth. On the order row, the very far right, you'll see insided. If I click that, it's going to limit my selection to only polygons that have more than four sides. So I'll click it, and now you can see very quickly and very easily that we do have some polygons that are more than four sides, and they're right up here on our cylinder. If we wanted to see if we had any three-sided polygons, any triangles, then we could change that from inside it to triangles and now we can easily see where we have triangles in our model or three-sided polygons and again if we wanted to see about quads we can select quads and now we can quickly see not only what's in quads but it also shows what's not in quads by everything that's blue okay if you wanted to see about if you had anything that's non-planar let me go in on that order row. I'm going to turn it off. If you wanted to see if you had any non-planar faces, the next row, which is planarity, I'm going to click on non-planar. And now we can quickly and easily see that actually all three of these meshes have non-planar faces. So the cylinders got one, the cubes got several, and so does the sphere over here. You can also do combinations. So if you wanted to see if you had any non-planar quads, you could select non-planar and quads, or non-planar insided, which the cylinder has over here. So play around with those settings and find out how they all work. Uh, they're very useful. You have lots of different options. Um, you can check whether stuff is mapped or unmapped, and convexity, whether stuff is concave or convex. Another cool thing about this is I can click over here in my view panel, hit F9, and switch to vertices select mode and my selection constraint dialog box up here automatically updates now to vertices. Our vertices, we've got a couple of options. We've got whether we want to see what's on borders or inside our model. Uh, this random is very useful. I will go over that here in a second. I'm going to click back in my uh, view panel and I'm going to press F10 to switch to edge select mode. Edge select, we've got whether it's on borders or inside, or we just turn it off. If you want to see if you had any hard edges, just turn hard on. And if you look at our meshes, you can see that we've got some hard edges on our cube and at the top and bottom of our cylinder. We can change the smooth, and we can see all of our edges that are smooth. So again, very quick and easy way to check how your meshes are built. All right, I'm going to deselect all of this. And I'll go ahead and smooth shade it. Let's say that these were buildings. I don't know what kind of a building would be like a sphere. But let's say these are three buildings and you wanted to create a ground plane. I'm going to just going to create a polygon plane. This is the default setting, so I believe it's 10 by 10 subdivisions. So let's just scale that up. There's our buildings. Let's lower our plane some. All right. So we got some buildings and we have this ground plane. Well, the ground plane is pretty flat, but if I go back up to that select, down to select using constraints, I'm going to click on my view, whoops, click on my plane, press F9 to switch to vertices select mode. I'm going to activate this random over here in the dialog box. I'm going to click on activate for under the random section. What that's going to do is that's going to randomly select vertices on this mesh. Zero of zero percent vertices. One is 100% vertices. Now, if you don't see anything selected, make sure at the top of your dialog box you have all and next selected. All right, I'm just going to lower this ratio 
and say we'll select about 30% of our vertices. Now I'm just going to raise those up. Now if I close this, go to object mode and do a smooth. Let's lower this down so we can see our buildings. <laughs> and there we go. Let me turn the wireframe off. Now we've got some, very quickly and very easily, we have kind of some rolling hills with our buildings over there on it. And it's completely random, which is really nice. It gives you some really nice results for a ground plane. That saves you from having to go in and start pulling and tweaking vertices. All right, let's uh, do something else. Let's say this cube, let's say we wanted to kind of shape it more like a piece of ice or something. What we can do is, same thing, I'm going to go to vertices select mode, go back up to the select menu, down to select using constraints. At the very top, this time, I'm going to switch it to current and next. So current selection means as soon as I make a selection, that's what's going to be randomized. So I have random down here activated. I've got it activated. I'll just leave it at 30%. And so now whenever I make a selection, whatever I select, it's only going to select 30% of those vertices, and it's going to be random. So I'm going to select all the vertices on the right face of this cube. And when I select them all, you can see that only 30% of them are selected because we've got a ratio at 0.3, which is 30%. So now I can just pull those out. I'm going to select all the vertices on top now. And again, it only selects 30% of them. I can pull those up or push them down either way. Maybe I'll push those down. Grab these other on this other side. I'm just going to do the same thing to all sides. Just pull them all out and the bottom. There we go. Close this out. Object mode. I'm going to smooth that. And now it looks like we have a piece of ice. So again, it's very simple to use and you can get some pretty interesting results depending on how you use that feature. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have fun.